for the sake of argument, an advisor inadvertently receives securities from a client under the amended rule. Can the advisor simply forward those materials on to the qualified custodian, or do they have to return the securities to the client with some kind of uh, instruction that they send it to someone else as the appropriate recipient? I don't know if you want to take this on, Kathy. I, I... I'd be inclined to do the latter. Uh, I have not seen this before in the past, but I'd, I'd advise, I'd probably advise an advisor to, to send it to the client and have them redirect it to the appropriate parties. I don't know if you've seen that in your past, Kathy. Correct, correct. I mean, I, that's what I would advise. Practically yeah. speaking, in my you know, past life as an examiner, have I come across instances where the advisor received the check and then promptly forwarded it on, mm -hmm. meaning that day? Um, to the particular custodian, and if it was a one-off situation, did we necessarily make a note of it in the exam? No, but best practices is to return it to the client. Mm 